Master Gano Grills for Galacticus.com. And welcome back to another episode of Questions and Answers. We're here today in the beautiful autumn day. And as you can see, the leaves have begun to fall from the trees. And the trees are exhaling at the moment. And this is a great time to get into answering some of your questions that I've been asked on Facebook. So, our first question comes from Tamitra Anderson. And she asks, I've been seeing my birthday a lot. Does that mean I will not return to this physical realm? Not necessarily. When you see your birthday a lot, it's outside of the realm of coincidence. And more likely than not, as I've said in other videos, it is a digital coding and it's a placement that you have encoded into the hologram of your life as a trigger and as an alarm clock to remind you of an upcoming event and that upcoming event for you is the awakening in the bible it's known as the quickening some people call it the acceleration but whatever you decide to call it it is an event that pertains to you it also is here to awaken you to higher possibilities and possibly ascension. So it could mean that this could very well be your last lifetime if you achieve enlightenment and you work upon your ascension. So I hope that answers your question. The next question comes from Bari Pata Sara and he asks, do offerings to our ancestors have to always be a physical gift? No. It's very funny that you ask that question because about three, four years ago when I first started Galacticus, I was told by the ancestors that there was another tier and quality of what we can supplicate to them. The ancestors up until this point have been okay with the Misas and the Bembes and the, the celebrations in Juneteenth and the candles, the food, and certain offerings. But because so many people have done that for a period of time, there's another requirement that exposes the ancestors to more of what it is that you can offer them, giving you a better quality reverberation that comes from them. That is made possible by the ancestor money. Ancestor money is the only catalyst that deals with attenuating the debt of your ancestors as well as lots of other things. So I don't want to turn this into an altar query. But to answer your question, when we give to the ancestors outside of libation, prayer, worship, and supplication, these are not physicalities. They're divine utterance, their prayers and their concentrated focused formations of thought that we concentrate through the window of our consciousness. If you have an altar, it is a way to expound and multiply and magnify the power of what your intention and desire is for your ancestors to have directly from you. So when we have a complete slew of harmonics that we offer to the ancestors on a continual basis. It creates a systemic, sustained, direct, even flow of abundance that comes in many different areas into your life. So I'll give you a quick analogy before I close out the answer to this question totally. That's very interesting. What was that? Sounded like I'm going to have to look at that, but that's a nice confirmation. Something just dropped. It sounded like a rock hitting something. So if you wanted to get gasoline for your car and your car is just about to be on empty and you pull into a gas station, you have a desire to obtain the gasoline that's going to move the engine of your car. The well wish of obtaining it is not enough to procure actually having the gas put into your car. Therefore, you need a currency, fiat, 
credit card, debit card, you see where I'm going? Your intentions without works is not enough to be the change and the desired result of your giving in order to perform the give back that you'd like to have in your life. So don't close yourself off to some of the new things that your ancestors will ask you to give to them. If you think about your ancestors, you're not really thinking about them. They're thinking about you. They're placing the thoughts of their existence into your heart and into your memory. And they're stimulating the memory of your relationship with them. And it's a powerful resource to take advantage of. So I hope that answers your question. I am Sri Master Gano Grills for Galacticus.com. And I will see you on the next episode of Questions and Answers.